This is the Canon C500 Mark II, and today I'm out to discover if it's the best cinema camera from Canon. Matt with B&H here, and in this video- And Matt from B&H here, here to tell the other Matt why the R5C is actually the best cinema camera from Canon. You actually believe that? There's only one way to find out. In this video, we're going to compare the R5C with the C500 Mark II by putting them through a different number of tests, things from setup time to test footage later on in the video. But first, let me talk you through the highlights of the R5C and why I think this is a really good cinema camera. First off, this is the definition of a hybrid camera. This really is two cameras in one. If you put this in photo mode, you have a Canon R5 capable of shooting raw images up to 45 megapixels. But put the R5C in video mode and you have a camera that can shoot 8K raw footage thanks to its full frame 8K CMOS sensor. The R5C is also capable of 15 stops of dynamic range. It also has dual pixel CMOS autofocus with eye detection has two slots with a CF Express Type B and an SD card. It also has dual slot recording for backup or redundancies and an unlimited record time. It has a timecode DIN port and a multifunction shoe, four channel audio recording with XLR adapters, and 13 resignable buttons to make sure you can customize it how you want. Well, I think it's adorable that Matt thinks his camera is better than mine, the C500 Mark II, because this thing is incredibly capable for cinema. It's got a full-frame CMOS sensor capable of up to 5.9K RAW internally. The Canon C500 Mark II has DCI 4K and 2K, UHD 4K and HD modes, full-frame Super 35 and Super 16 modes, dual-pixel CMOS autofocus, internal Canon RAW light recording, internal XF AVC recording, two CF Express Type B card slots and an SD card slot. And I know what you're thinking, the R5C does have those stills at 45 megapixels. Very impressive, but we're shooting movies here. So for this first test, we're gonna compare the setup time of the R5C and the C500 Mark II. And I think Matt is going to be a little surprised with how fast I set this bad boy up. And you don't have that. Some of us are making movies here. Netflix approved right now. I don't know who's choosing you to film a Netflix movie, but... Wow. Wow. All right, here we are for setup time, and I think Matt is at a slight advantage yeah, because... I'm pretty confident. Two things. You don't got a top handle, though. So that is that's... true, but I don't need a top handle. Well, wow. I don't know. I've seen some of your footage. Could yeah. use it. Thanks. Anyways, are you ready to get going? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll count down in three, two... All right. Let's go. So the beauty about this is I just have two things to put in, so I'm halfway there. I'm pretty relaxed. Must be nice. Take my uh throw off. And like that, the battery's in. Um, put it down. I got this in the bag. And I'm done. Um, so I'll just sit down. Can't wait for that. And the thing I really like about the R5C is I've now set it up to my customization. I think it's a really, really just enjoying the time. Here he goes on one of his monologues again. Um, Matt's just putting the side handle on there. He's doing a really good job, but as you can see, he's a lot more panicked than I am. I'm I've chill. Had... I'm chill, dude. I'm out of breath. <laughs> That's it. I won, right? No. On to the next challenge. <laughs> As expected, an easy win for the R5C in the setup time there. I mean, I only had two things to put in. It was never in doubt. Now we're gonna do a portability test, and I think I've got the edge here. Um, Matt's got the C500 Mark II on the Ronin II. I got the R5C on the June Crane. We're gonna use these two very nice but very orange Jeeps. We're gonna film out the back of one of them and film the other. I think I'm gonna win. This is clearly easier for me to carry around than you. You're struggling to even hold that up right now. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I don't think so. You know, I've been hitting the gym lately and I think you're gonna be surprised about the uh, results of this one. I don't think you're even gonna get a shot out of the back door, but we'll see. We'll find out. All right, let's go. Uh, all right, a little tight. A little tight. You good? Yes, sir. All right. Give it a close. Thanks, mate. It's all right. Ready to lose? You know, you actually, I don't know how you're going to get this out of the back. 
Listen, don't worry about me. I'm worried. Worry about yourself and your R5C. All right, so it's a little tight back here, I'll be honest, but I'm not concerned. We're gonna get some good shots. Maria, are you ready up there? Maria's going. All right, I can't really get past this wheel, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of a challenge, the steering wheel is right in the way, thank you Jeep for that. I've got some great shots, but the steering wheel is just completely in the way. It's just not as nimble as the R5C in this scenario. Lock me in. Um, yeah, sure. Let's just go to 24 and stop clowning around. All right, so Matt is in the lead here, I will admit that, but I don't think he understands just how amazing the footage from the C500 looks. So for this next section, we're going to pit the two against each other when it comes to test footage. So let's take a look at that now. Well, Matt, you know, I'll hand it to you for this one. I think the R5C won here. Thanks, man. This is real piece of bread. Thank you. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong, and the R5C, clearly an impressive camera. The fact that you have both photo and video, and you got 45 megapixel photos at that, AK internal raw. And don't get me wrong, this camera is an absolute beast, but it was challenging lugging it around at times, especially on that Rona. I appreciate that, Matt, but if you are looking for a studio camera where you need things like SDI ports, XLR ports built into the camera body, the C500 Mark II is a fantastic option. And the battery life on this, especially in this cold environment, has really surprised me. It's been fantastic. But you can't go wrong with either of these cameras, especially the R5C that we put to test in action filmmaking, cinematic high-end filmmaking, and some video marketing. So definitely check out those videos. And let us know in the comments below what cameras we should compare next, or even drones. We would love to hear from you. But for now, my name is Matt. My name is also Matt. Thanks for watching. I'm supposed to say that. No, that was me. That's me. You I'm, think you won and that's it? That's it. I'm the winner now. <laughs>